Don't cheat. Just keep your eyes closed. Where are we not going now, guys? Where are we going? I want you to have to dress up. Keep it moving, keep right. it moving, slowly turn in. Okay, turn, yes. okay. Yes, yes, then take a seat. Uh -huh. Take a seat? Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm going to take my hands off. No peeking. Alright. Yeah. Open your eyes. Surprise! <laughs> I hope this is to your liking. I know you said you don't want a lot of parts of this year, but then we thought, you know, just have an intimate dinner with a few close friends. I hope yeah. you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you guys, I'm so <laughs> shocked <shuffle board. laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is perfect. Excuse me guys. Hey everyone, um, I would like to say a few things about my brother, Ebuka. Ah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> now, we all know that... He is a... Hello, guys! Hi! What is she doing? I am slow, trust me. Hi. I kept it as secret as possible. You know, this is why I don't want to trade with myself. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ibuka. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see you even are uh, here. <laughs> you seem to be forgetting that it's my darling boyfriend's best friend's birthday, huh? Oh, please do remind me. Ibuka, darling, here. I got you a birthday present. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Out of curiosity, though. How did you snoop this one out? Because I know that this was a very private dinner. <laughs> I only got snoop a few minutes ago and I know that I need to didn't tell you. <laughs> Ibuka, you are as cute as you are naive. You mean to tell me you don't know me by now? Okay, fine, fine, I'll tell you. So I know Tete here throws you a birthday party every year. So when this year I didn't get my invite and I didn't get a peep off of social media, I figured there must have been a mistake. Yeah. Exactly. And so I hacked into his phone to get the info that I needed as per usual. As per usual? Wow. <laughs> I'm curious now. What do you have my phone to? Oh, sweetie, don't flatter yourself. I have no time for people of no significance. <laughs> I don't know if I should be offended by that or just simply relieved, right? <laughs> Chloe! Oh, hi, superstar. How are you? You've been a bit quiet online lately. Are you okay? What's up? After I wrote that article about me with pictures and videos that turned my life upside down. How could you? I thought we were friends. Oh. <laughs> Point of correction, darling. You are Ibuka's friend who happens to be Anita's friend. So technically, you are barely someone that I know. Plus, you should be grateful. My blog post gave your failing career the boost that it needed. It's not my fault your PR team couldn't spin it, milk it, and bring you into limelight. In fact, this is not the thanks I deserve for my generosity, darling. Excuse you? You're excused. This is my seat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you asking me to get up? Oh, no. 
I was just about leaving anyways. I forgot to it. Oh God, I'm so sorry I have to leave. I just got an emergency call. Wait. Guys. Bye. Bye. You need to fix this now. This is embarrassing. <laughs> You want to do this now? Here? Yeah. Trust me, my sister is going to run away from here quickly. Uh, can we? I've been <gasps> thinking of a perfect time to do this for days now. So oh my god, no! Will you? Yeah! This is going to make me throw up. So this is what is going to happen. I'm going to go home and drink myself to sleep. So when I wake up tomorrow, all of this would be a nightmare today. Happy birthday, Bukai. Wow. 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 Please enjoy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can do about the venue. Cool. But depending on the timing, I think you should have a plan B. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> oh, she's here. I'm so sorry I'm late, but carry on. <laughs> Oh my god! You are on Korean SM. Flesh and blood. Your blog, your blog, I follow you everywhere. Mm. Huh. Uh, thank you. So, what are we doing? Um, what are you doing here? This is the first meeting for the wedding plans, isn't it? Yeah, but you weren't invited. So, you were saying? <laughs> yes, we were talking about how to, you know... Come with me. <laughs> She's talking. <laughs> yeah. So about the whole... Please, I need you to make sure that everything is okay. Because we're, we're behind shadow. Oh you know, anything you want to say to me, you should really learn to say in front of your wife to be. We don't want her thinking you're keeping secrets now, would we? You do want to have a successful, long marriage, don't you? No. No, you don't want your wedding to... Oh, the spirit... <laughs> Carry on. Um, thank you. I want you to stay out of the wedding planning completely. I beg your pardon. Do this for me. No. No, this isn't for you. It's for her, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Both of you can't stand each other, and you've never agreed on anything. But the wedding is in two months, and if you stop planning a wedding, nothing is going to go right. Well, it's not my fault. Your wife-to-be has poor teeth in everything. With you, of course, being the only exception. Just... Stay out of the wedding planning completely. Titi, but it doesn't make sense. Promise me, please. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Are you really sure you don't want this? I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm serious. You have to give me more than this amount of time to prepare. 
No, no, all this pretty doesn't just happen. <laughs> I need time, time to prep, get my hair done, get my nails done, exfoliate. Yes, and I even have to pick out a dress and write accessories. In the event I don't even have a dress, I'm going to need to shop. So do you see how it's impossible to get ready for a date with less than 24 hours notice? Really? Are you even being serious? If I showed up with pajamas, tell yourself the truth, wouldn't you think I'm crazy? You're so cliche. Why do all of you say that? Why? <laughs> you don't mean it. You can't be serious. <laughs> wow. Wow. I now see how you got into a lockdown. Hey. My darling. If this guy doesn't take care of you, I will. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, come on, this food is so delicious. Thank now. you, Ibuka. Thank you. <laughs> you know, Ibuka, come on. Sometimes I wonder that the only quality you look for in a woman is her cooking skills. I love food. If she can cook, 85% of the job is done. <laughs> <laughs> it's true now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hi guys, hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Um, Where are you traveling to? That's my cue to leave. No, 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 please stay, 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 stay. Please. Or oh, the next time you have sex with, who is it? Nicole, Ifunaya, Abigail, or whoever it will be, I will post it on my blog for the whole world to see. And for my two and a half million followers on Instagram, and for my 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Thank you. I'm really sorry to barge in with you like this, but I need your help. Okay. Why do I need to be here? What are you doing here? I need all your help for this. Each and every one of you, it's time to help and call you. Please, guys, please. It's you. Hi. Look, if you've come Hi. to gloat, just get on with it and be on your way, okay? Surprisingly, I haven't come to do that. May I? No, just leave it. Be, leave it. Please, can I just help you? Fine. Do you need light? Can you no, see? No, it's fine. You just stop 
just stopped. Literally, I was driving, started jerking, and it stopped. Oh. Do you know what it is you're doing? When last did you service this car? I don't know. Titi does the servicing. <laughs> Look, this car is not going to move from here. We need to call a mechanic. <laughs> You're joking. You're joking. I'm going to be late for my date. I need to call my mechanic. I... Hello, Tony. Yeah, hi. I'm going to need your help. A friend of mine's car just stopped. Mm. I'll text you. I'm, I'll text you the address. It's uh, where are we now? I'll text you the address. It's um. Where are we? Let me check. Okay. Yeah, hi. Hey, Richard. I no, I'm 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 going to be late for a date. I my car broke down in the middle of the road. Yeah. I uh, just let let one of your boys come. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. All right. No problem. No problem. So? Where is your date? So I can get you a new bar because I need to wait till the mechanic comes so that he can fix it. Um. What's wrong? He... He cancelled. Oh. Yeah, he said he had an early morning flight, so... I'm yeah. sorry. For what? You didn't do anything wrong, so why are you sorry? I mean, never seen you this excited about anyone before. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, how long is the mechanic going to take? He'll be here 10, 15 minutes thereabouts. All right, then. Thank you. I'll just wait in the car. I'm, I'm no longer in a hurry, so it's fine. I'll wait till he gets here. You're welcome. I'm staying. Why? <laughs> you no longer hate me, or what is this? Yes, I do hate you with all of my heart. <laughs> but you are an native sister. I'm not going to leave you here in the middle of the road. The guy will never forgive me. <laughs> and I will wait till the mechanic comes. I'll probably hate myself in the morning for doing the ball. Hey. Sorry. So, are you going to come sit in my car and wait? Okay, let me just get this stuff. So, take care of Yeah, so I have given the key to your car and he'll bring the car in the morning. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've sort of the bill, so I don't need to pay him anything. Hey, Buka. Why are you being so nice to me? Maybe I actually feel bad that you did cancelled. Speaking of dates, I don't think you should go on just yet. Mind if I buy you dinner? Why? I don't think this dress should go to waste. <laughs> Plus, I'm starving. Mm, there it is. That's the evil card that I know. For food only, of course. 
<laughs> I think you're laughing now. <laughs> so that's a yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's go. Is there food? Hey, do where you get some money. Bring the evil out of my head. Push me to the wall and one side. Caught me with a knife and blood money. Screaming on my lungs in the heat. I am even am not the least. You know, and that from that very time, I said, I'm not cooking anymore. <laughs> like, never. But you like food, Ibuka, too much. Yeah, but I have money I could always order in. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to risk food poison again now. <laughs> like, I don't even have a single food stuff in my house. You're ridiculous. No kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting, you know. Mm-hmm. And this is the most cordial we've been in over a decade. Right. That's actually true. And the best part is if you tell anybody, they will not believe you. Especially Titi. And the mechanic is going to take out my car, right? Sure. Okay, great. Good night. Good night. Is unavailable. Oh man. You know, that is the one thing she wanted I thought I could give her. But I can't. But don't beat yourself up, man. Kemi will mind. Trust me, she would. I mean, she would act like she wouldn't, but she would. But look at the timing, bro. You're doing your best. It's not enough. It's not enough. If only there was one thing. One thing I could give her, at least one thing she wanted. Mm. That would be great. What does he want? Let him in. magic happens, yeah? What do you want, Ibuka? Right. Straight to business, I see. Okay. I need your help. I beg your pardon? So, 
Kenya and Aniti are having issues planning the wedding, I won't, no, scrap that. I need you to help. Tete asked me to stay away from his wedding. So, apologies, but for the first time in a really, really long time, I like to mind the business that pays me. Thank you. Remember, you kind of like owe me one. Okay. Fine. Great. I'm listening. So, I need to also give Kenny a dream wedding, and you know what that involves: favorite chef, favorite designer for the dress, uh, dream venue, and the list goes on. But most of those things are not available for the date we've chosen, so... <laughs> and by most, you actually mean all of them, don't you? Uh, yeah. Let them pick another date. One where all the things they want would be available. No, we can't pick another date. And I can't tell you why. Because the native will just kill me, so yeah. <laughs> Well, don't push your luck, I'm not telling you. Okay. Fine. So, what do you want me to do? You know that you are the master at persuasion, so... <laughs> no. Why not? Because Anita asked me to stay away from his wedding. Who says he has to know? <laughs> Kemi hates me. She hates the very idea of me. In fact, she would much rather be married in, in a village square and have her guests eat peanuts and biscuits than have me help with her wedding. Kenny does not need to know as well. And finally, you hate me, Ebuka. You can barely stand to be in the same room as me. You hate my work. In fact, you're giving me crap about it from the very first day. So what exactly gives you the impression that I would want to help you? That we can even work together or that I would want to use my work to help you or her? This is not for me or Kenny. This is for Anita. Who asked me and made me promise to stay away from his wedding? Look, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> In as much as I want to help, I really, really want to help. I can't. Okay. I'm gonna leave this one with you. In case you change your mind, all the details you need are there. I won't. supposed to have lunch today. That was today. Titi, we haven't seen each other in over a week. I'm sorry, I forgot. I can't make it today. This, you know, wedding preparation. Okay, all right. So, tomorrow then? Um, tomorrow not gonna make sense. Maybe next week or so. You know, this whole wedding thing is stressing me out, coupled with work and... I thought grooms were supposed to do less in terms of wedding preparations. Yeah, that's if we're getting married months away, but it's just a month and a half. Thank you, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's, it's fine. It's completely fine, I understand. No, 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 we'll call you ACN. We are going to stay out of it, okay? 
I'm not doing that. And yeah, just a few pages. A few pages would hurt. A few. Really, Teddy Williams. Hold on, I'm coming. Sister, it's this will hurt him. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 oh. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Keep coming back. How did you even get in here? What are you doing here? Really? I let myself in. I have a key. Get dressed. We have business to attend to. To cook. <laughs> you see, while you slept, the rest of us went to the market and got groceries. Right. Huh. <sighs> this looks. Don't touch. Looks good. <laughs> Is it going to? I made enough for two. And stop salivating now. All right, cover the pot when you're done. You're welcome. <sighs> this 
afraid. I'm guessing the reason you broke into my house and disturbed my beauty sleep is... You mean your sex dream? They were probably having about some random model or actress or somebody. You're such a pervert. Was because you decided to help, right? Yes. Thank you. And this is really delicious. <clears throat> There you go. What is this? Research. It's everything I found on Teddy Williams. The fashion designer? Yes. Mm. Hobbies, investments, phone records, neighbors, family, friends, good habits, bad habits, relationships, past, present, everything. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> My work here is done. See you at the wedding. Really? Hey. I still need your help. For what? You told me to get your dress to use as leverage, and I gave you more than enough. So what do you need me for? Look, it took me all night to get this. I need to catch up on my beauty sleep. And I am grateful. Mm -hmm. Right? But then I need the persuasion to be very convincing. And? And you're the scariest person I know. <laughs> okay, so let me get this. You want me to be the face of this operation, mm -hmm. and at the same time, not be the face of the operation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Bye. Uh -uh. <sighs> Yeah, this is actually good stuff. Hey, the way you get on my head, bring the evil out of my head, push me to the wall in one side. Cause we need a night and let Are you? Yes. What do you want? 20 million naira. Where am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Can't afford that. that. That's too much. You are an international fashion designer. You can easily afford that. See, let's come to some kind of arrangement. I, I, I don't know. I, I can't afford that. That's too much. Ten million naira, and you will make a dress for me. A dress? Well, what kind of dress? For a wedding. Hi. You're Teddy yeah. Williams, right? Uh, Uncle Essien. Ah, sorry. I'm finished. You know who I am? Oh, that's good. That's amazing. I love your work. Oh, it's amazing. Look, I'm just even coming from your boutique. What a funny coincidence. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to um, eavesdrop. It's just I overheard this young lady over here trying to extort money from you through blackmail. And I absolutely hate the people that I love being blackmailed. Except, of course, I'm the one doing the blackmailing, of course. Excuse me. Let's pretend you don't know me. Hi, my name is Nkoyo Essien. <laughs> I own and run IC. I mean, you've obviously heard of it. I know exactly who you are. <laughs> Great! Fantastic! So you know exactly what it is I can do to you if you don't hand over everything you have on this talented, perfect gentleman over here and walk away, promising never to try and blackmail him again. <laughs> Mr. Teddy Williams, did you know that 77.5% of people click on negative news more than positive news? You know, they don't even bother to check if the facts are true anymore. They just believe whatever it is they want. And with my numerous platforms, multiple okay. subscribers. Hmm. Can I have it? Is this everything? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Williams. This is some really, really juicy stuff. 
No, this isn't 10 or 20 million, but it's worth something for your troubles. Thank you. <laughs> it was nice doing business with you now. Sure. <laughs> Wow, that was amazing. Uh, thank you. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing, Mr. Williams. It was really nice meeting you again. Oh, how can I repay you? Do you know what you just did? No, 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 no. I'm not to worry. Oh, I'm good. I told you already, I absolutely love your work. <laughs> no, no, no. Peter, you cannot. You just saved me lots of money and harassment. <laughs> and I, you're going to, I, I, would, I would love to repay you, whatever it is. Oh, ask. Oh. <laughs> and then this gossip was just walked in and, and scattered everything. No, no, don't let her you hear you call her a witch. She'll be very upset. You know that. I didn't mention her name to you, so how did you? You were in the research I got up three months ago. I, I, before you are going, to, you will still pay me my money, right? Yes. Miss what, please? Expect an alert from me soon. Yes, about them. Hey. I'm here to and Kenny. Uh-huh. Have an appointment with Teddy Williams the day after tomorrow. <laughs> right. Hmm. My watch? You know... I thought you said you were done. I changed my mind. And how exactly did you do this? I don't understand. <sighs> you know reverse psychology, right? Yeah. Huh? Great. So I invented this thing I like to call reverse blackmail. Reverse blackmail? Yeah. You see, you want something from someone, mm. but you don't ask them. You put them in a position where they will offer you anything you ask, and then you ask. Do you have any idea how grateful a public figure like Teddy Williams would be after you have saved his life from a potential reputation and career ruining sex scandal? <laughs> he was so grateful he offered to design the entire bridal train dresses for free, including mine, of course. And now that I think about it, I think I want to wear a white dress. <laughs> Kevin would be so furious. Oh my goodness. Okay, like, mm. wow. This is so impressive, though. Thank you, thank you. You know, you might be the smartest person that I know. Really? <laughs> nice. Hey. I know. Hmm. You know, this might be the only thing you're good at. It's really oh, good. Oh, I'm good at other things. Like what? I'll run through you, not tell. Ew. <laughs> Ew. I'm going to be on my way now. My work here is done. My drink. Make another one. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Here you go, babe. Oh. Thanks, babe. Yeah, you're welcome. So, tomorrow, Natasha and I are meeting up with a designer for the gown. Mm. Yeah. Well, I know 
that was not what you wanted, but I guess we'll have to compromise. I mean, if we don't, this won't work, right? Thanks, babe. Nothing. Come in. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to budge on you like that. Does anyone at all in your house know you that? My dear, you will be pleased to hear what I have to say, and you will take that back. Hmm. That's okay. Okay. So, after a very long hour of very, very intense conversation with Teddy Williams, Teddy Williams, well, he has agreed to design your wedding dress <gasps> and that of your bridal <gasps> friend. Oh. No way. <laughs> How? And at no cost. <laughs> no way. Because I got it covered. You're joking, Kaya. Don't mess with me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> As a matter of fact, the two of you have an appointment with him in two days' time. Get away! Give this to me! It's not true! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! Erica, oh my god, how did you do this? Uh, it's what I do. Yes. Get away! Babe, Natasha is gonna go crazy. Are you kidding me? I was just telling you. Thanks, bro. I mean, it's nothing. I beg a food day. What? Food? Okay. I got you covered, man! Mm. Food? Yes. Ah, ah, come on. Just. Okay. Hey. My belly's ready. I'm back. <laughs> Bro. Thanks, How man. How you doing, man? Nah, come, come on. Come on. Wow, this is something. I know. I know. Damn. Oh, please make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You look tense. When uh, Okoyo ACN invites you for one on one seat, uh, you will be a fool not to be. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. So, what do you want? Mm -hmm. I hear you have an event on the 10th of July at Life's Worth Event Center. Yes. Great. I'd like you to cancel it. What? Move it forward, backwards, whatever you want. I really don't care. The thing is, I have an event on the same date, and I'd like to use that space. Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> okay, let's make this meeting brief, shall we? You have two options. It's either you keep your space, and I use all of my efforts and resources to make sure your event does not hold, which would still leave me with the space. Or... You can move your dates, and I will promote your show on all of my social media platforms for free. Your choice. Call the door, fine. All right. Um, all right. You guys, lip set, please. Okay, come on. Lip set. Are we good? Are we good? Yes, sir. We're good, sir. All right. Uh, three, two, one, and... Action! Anna, don't say that. I'm sorry. I know I've been distracted of late, but you have my full attention now, okay? I promise you, nothing. <laughs> Who's phone is that now? <laughs> but, okay. Sorry, director. Put it on silent next time, okay? Sure, I will. Who is calling? The witch. Director, please, I need to take this one. No problem. I need to get a call across my witch. Uh, a word of advice. Don't do what I did and marry her. Hoping that things will get better. It won't. Trust me, that I won't. <laughs> Okay, we're on five minutes. Ready? What the hell are you I don't like your tone. Especially seeing as I just concluded a meeting with Femi Omotayo, and he has agreed to move his dates for his event, thereby securing you the venue for Tati and Kemi's wedding. So you should speak to me with less exasperation. I'm sorry. I 
How did you do that? Okay, seriously, the next time you ask me this question, I'm really going to be offended. Sorry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to need you for the next one, though. What are we doing? Cake tasting. your movies have been a fan since you were a model down to commercials then tv reality show i was even an admin in a whatsapp group for your fan base then down to the cinema oh my god i fell in love with you all over again watching your movies alive the liberation the Ursula's one two and three I even have posters of your abs in my bathroom and my room. You know why? Sometimes I imagine you braiding my hair, bringing me breakfast in bed, and even the lab dance. <coughs> you know the lab dance, yeah? And I just saw the trailer for Mr. Elvis, where you're playing the male stripper. I've even gotten a ticket for myself and my friends. <laughs> I'm so sorry for being a starstruck. I never imagined I would get to meet Ebuka Kalu in person. Oh my God. My friends will be crazy when I tell them about it. <laughs> so, I'm going be of help. Hello. Are kids or what? <laughs> oh God, but this is really good. Wait, so you mean that a meal from a meal cake is actually your fan girl? <laughs> yes. Really? And by fan, I mean the very intense crazy type. Wow. Mm. Really? I mean, this is a great to bake you guys a cake for your wedding. I mean, this is just mm. great. And this girl, right? She wasn't supposed to be in town, right? Mm. But then she decides to put that on hold for a week. Guess what she wanted? What? Pictures, a shout out, and a very embarrassing lap lap. <laughs> Are you serious? Really? The things that we do for love. Oh, it was okay. Thank you. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank You're you. You're welcome. God, forget it. I have a new level of respect for you. Right. Mm -hmm. In barely two weeks, you've managed to get us our intended designer, mm -hmm. venue, and cake. Mm -hmm. Man, I try. This is going to be the perfect wedding. Almost perfect. Almost. I mean, until we get the live band and the caterer, then it will be perfect. <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> you don't have to try anything. You've done enough. Don't mind, Gibo. You better try, you. Do your best. <laughs> what do you... Anyway, let's not forget. I'm having a dinner at my place. My parents are coming over. And mm -hmm. there were lots of food. I mean... But, full warning. And Clea is going to be around. No problem. Uh, guys, I need to be on my way. I have somewhere I need to be. I don't stay for dinner. Nah. What's her name? Huh? The girl. The only thing Ebuka loves more than food is a girl. Mm -hmm. I agree. Bye. <laughs> you know, it's only a matter of time before you break and tell me. At least you're going to bring her to the wedding. Bye. <laughs> 
Leave me alone, please. Oh, Emma, okay. bye. Anyway. Oh my God. Oh, this is good. Babes, oh. really? place is really nice <laughs> thank you thanks again for offering to do this and for dinner you kidding me you're doing your solid already all right let's go do this then right <laughs> you've been busy yeah i just need to pull up everything that i can find Actually, now respect what you do. Hmm? Just a little bit. <coughs> but he comes with a lot of attention to details, patience, and hard work. Hmm. I'm still waiting for the but in your compliment. No but this time. I mean, you're smart and very hardworking. And I like that. Great. Thank you. However, we have worked all night and we still can't find anything to use. She's not married, so there's nothing to use. Infidelity is out of it. I checked her personal records, her finances, past and present relationships, and nothing. She owns a charity organization. She visits orphanage kids, she cooks for them, she even has a scholarship scheme so that she can send them to culinary school abroad. The woman is an empath. In all my years of investigative journalism, the only person I have come across that is this clean is Titi. Hmm? You checked out your brother. <laughs> it was just a figure of speech. Because Anita is clean. <laughs> yes, he is. Tell me again why they want this woman to cater to their wedding. Like, what is so special about her? You know, she's not just a caterer. She owns a three-star restaurant. Mm -hmm. That's where they have their first date. That's where they go every year for the anniversary. Huh. And he was going to propose to her there to you crashed my birthday dinner. Hmm. So she's the ordinary. Oh my god. Oh my god, I I have it! Hmm. I have it. Look. Oh no, we've been looking for negative stuff to use when we can use the positive stuff. Hmm? The truth. How? Okay. <laughs> Remember I said she's an empath, right? Okay. Do you know what? I need to use your email. For what? Oh, I have it. I'm not asking your permission, I have your password. I'm just telling you as a team member and all. Um, okay, so I am putting to good use my composing skills and I'm writing a letter, a really heartfelt, heartwarming letter, telling her how my best friend met his girlfriend at her restaurant, how they have their anniversaries there every year, and with a little Maggie and curry on top, how they got engaged there. It would also be so fulfilling for them to have her cater to their wedding. <laughs> what? Nothing. Okay. Email, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh, 
Hey, babe. Hey. What's with you? Nothing. Come on. Why can't you tell everyone? You know why. Honestly, I don't. I mean, we'll be getting married in a few weeks, and it wouldn't even matter anymore. At least let me tell NK. I've been using this wedding as an excuse trying to avoid her, because I know she's going to guess it out of me. But you know I don't want your sister snooping in my business. Trust me, I know your history. There is nothing she will find that will chase me away from you. And you and NK need to mend fences already. Again, we're going to be family soon. And I don't want both of you to always be at each other's throat. And I don't want you people to put me in the middle of this whole thing and, and I have to choose between my wife and my sister. Because it will happen sometimes, and I promise you, you were not going to like it. Well, why do I have to be the one to apologize? Huh? Um, probably because you found out she had a crush on my best friend, and then you started writing love letters to her, pretending to be him, only to read it out of the whole school. That is why she's the way she is now. Come on, that was 12 years ago. Right. How about your sister needs to do some growing up? And fast, too. And let's not forget that. She got me expelled from that same school years later. So, hey, what's square? <sighs> I beg. Please, do this for me. Huh? <clears throat> let's sleep. Let's go to bed. You know, I've been meaning to ask you, Hello. why this career though? What do you mean? I mean, you are selfless, you are very nice, and a caring person, so, but you would rather be perceived as evil, mean, and cruel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Did you just call me Carrie? And selfless? You're doing that thing again. <laughs> no! You are doing that thing again. What, what am I doing? So your entire career mm -hmm. right, was built around following me everywhere to get scandals, <laughs> right? Just so that I can hate you. But why do you always put a wall between you and the real world? <laughs> to protect myself. They can hurt what they fear. Hmm. What can we be to you back then? It was really messed up and I never apologized. I'm sorry. No. No, 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 no. Don't be. Don't be sorry at all. In fact, I should thank her. Because what she did gave birth to this fabulous person that I absolutely love. So yeah. Did you really crush on me back then in school? Because I mean, if it was now, with all my muscles and being polished, I, she, but I was just flashing bones back then. Inka, stop. Okay, please stop. You know you were hot. Every girl in my class was crushing on you. I was just the only one who was bold enough and stupid enough to admit it. And now? And now what? The crush. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't be serious. Dude, you're incapable of commitment. Words, I'll be shooting myself in the foot or trying to die of high blood pressure. You can't commit. You're incapable of commitment. Ouch. <laughs> Look, I can commit. <laughs> wow. Your longest relationship lasted, what, three months? 
And then the one with Ifunaya, oh, that one was just showmans for reality TV. As soon as the show was over, you guys were done. So, exactly. <laughs> Who the thought? Oh, she she's replied. Okay, what did um, she say? Okay, so, um, good evening, sir. I am truly touched by your message and I'm grateful that my little gift to the world has a very significant place in your friend's life. My services have been booked for that date. But I would try and move things around to see if I could one more time make your friend's day special. Expect a reply from me within the next three days, hopefully a positive one. Send my regards to your friend and his bride and thank you for your loyal You are I know, I told you. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. You know what? I should go. Good night. Ibuka. This is the last one. I'm not involving myself in any of the wedding plans anymore. I'm done. It's okay, I understand. Good night. Good night, and see you at the wedding. I've loved you from the first I saw you. <coughs> My heart can't let go, though I go still. Your head down in my hands now To roll my fingers to your words <sighs> Oh my goodness! This is so beautiful! Oh yes. yes. Oh, you have outdone yourself. Was your goal to make me look more beautiful than the bride? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of my finest work. And you, you deserve it. You know? <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Now I really feel like I should pay you. <laughs> no, no, let me see. Come on. I owe you, remember? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, so, would you want me to create some you know, space around your belly area? Are you uh, also expecting? <laughs> also expecting? No. Um, who else on the train is expecting? Is it Natasha? No, 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 no. The, the, the bride, of course. She. Uh, she mm. told me to create some space mm. around her belly, uh, you know, the dress. I, yeah. mm. <laughs> he cost me a lot of stress, really, because mm. I, I didn't want to do something I'd done before or something less yeah. less standards, you know. So that's what I'm also asking. You. you didn't know? Uh, of course, of course I did. No, you said also, so I thought you meant the bride and the maid of honor. You know, both of them pregnant at the same time. Oh. It would be hilarious. Uh, and stressful too. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So, Edgar, um. so, tell me, when did you become uh, uh, an uh, event planner? <laughs> <laughs> See, Daddy, when you're put in a desperate situation, your hidden talents are to show. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah. I was almost asking uh, Tete here to tell Nko you help him out because she's good at what she does. <laughs> no, Mama. Uh, no, we don't need her. Um, actually, everything is coming on fine. But speaking of MK, I thought she would be here. Hello. Hi, Daddy. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Mommy. I'm so sorry. I'm late. Literally. So, you guys started without me. Your father here was very humble. Oh, I'm not right about it. Your father bought it. Oh, Daddy. Thank you. Well, did I miss anything? Do you want to fill me in? Yeah. Tete said uh, everything for his wedding is coming up well. <laughs> Kudos to Ebuka. Amen. 
Nice. Really nice. What are they doing these past months? Just being like a ghost. <laughs> Tell us. Okay. What have you been doing apart from ruining other people's lives with your blog? Hope you have a date that is bringing you to the wedding. <clears throat> hey, it would be a shame if you come alone, right? I was almost considering bringing a, a book here, but at least ask you out. <laughs> Ooh. At least let's start from somewhere. Your father here didn't allow me. You see, if we allow her, she will go alone. Oh gosh, mommy is so funny. Both of them will kill each other before they go on a date together. Mm -hmm. Besides, if we can hear saying someone who is really crazy about, huh? Right. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, you know what? Um, <laughs> Back when we were in school, NK here was giving an award for the person who's most likely to end up being single. I'm serious! <laughs> yeah, that's right, actually, I remember that. And Hemi was voted, what was that, most likely to have a child outside wedlock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, Hemi has been bitter. Right from Genesis 1 to like SS1, when I finally got her expelled for having sex with the senior <laughs> behind the chemistry lab. She said, you remember this? <laughs> she would actually have had children out of wedlock, even though for her six, seven, no, eight abortions. My goodness, I'm not sure what the condom is. Come on. Daddy, she would have had nine, actually, my bad. But well, you see, this one she's carrying is for an ET. That is the reason why they are rushing this wedding, so that she wouldn't show, isn't it? You know, at first I thought you were sick. You know, coming down with some fatal disease like cancer or something, and you were starting chemo. NK. <laughs> Your hair was going to fall off. You were going to be in so much pain. And we were all going to be sad and crying. And my NK. sweet, sweet brother here wanted to do something romantic and get married to you first before you finally die and go to hell. Which, if we're all being honest, is where she's going to end up in a bit. Are you stopping your son? And yet, yes, even a scene. Come with me, now. to make me apologize to her because I am not going to do that. Why do you always have to act like a child every time? Excuse me? Were you blind and equally deaf not to have experienced what happened before I even opened my mouth? You would have been the bigger person and just kept quiet. Oh, please say that to the morgana of a wife you're about to spend the rest of your life with. And who are you calling a witch? Please, please, go back to the living room. Yes, show sure. And let the grown-ups talk. Okay. What? I'm going to marry her. So you start showing us some respect, that was an apology. Don't remind me. Uh, <laughs> no. No, no, no. See, that is never, ever going to happen. Oh, well then, you leave me no choice but to banish you from coming from my wedding. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Titi. Have a nice life. You both deserve each other.
Dude, why are you angry? Huh? I thought you would like this. What do you mean? She's your sister. Your only sister. I mean, she's annoying, yes. Always snooping around in other people's business. But come on, banishing her from the wedding? That's too much, man. You're a favorite person in the whole world. It's just a wedding. Why do you even care? Huh? Her career was built around posting your numerous scandals on her blog. You hate her very essence. I thought I would give everyone a little piece of mind knowing that the person who causes my best friend and fiance so much headache would be absent. But no, nothing I do fixes anything. Aniete. Yes? Never mind. I was a very happy man. My wife would love me more than anything in the world. A family who respected me. A good job. Friends and colleagues who adored me. I was a minister in my church. My life was perfect. Yes, that wasn't perfect. I knew my superior was stealing from the company I worked for. But I did nothing about it and asked for my own court. You know, when my wife told me she was pregnant. We were ecstatic. Bills kept piling up. She wanted to have the kids abroad. She wanted this, she wanted that. We had so many plans. I knew I couldn't afford it. I needed extra cash. So yes, I stole. Just as my superior does. And I got away with it. Well, I thought I did. Until someone decided to write a blog post about me. Because of you, I went to jail for five bloody years. My wife was embarrassed, shamed, and depressed. She was humiliated by friends, church members, even her friends, <laughs> her so called friends, sold her out. She was traumatized and she attempted suicide five bloody times. Do you know what happy home is? Do you? Do you? Hey bro, I'm sorry about Hey bro, this is fine. Quick one, eh, I beg. Where would Nkoyo keep her key, you know? I'm just thinking of a smart place where I can keep um, like my spare key, you know, if I didn't want anybody to know, you know, I mean, she's the smartest person that we know now, so, you know, where, where would she keep her key? That's simple. She doesn't like stress, so she keeps her spare key to a kitchen back door under her welcome mat. <laughs> Sometimes people mistake it for her front door and just give it up 
Thanks, 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 thanks. Thanks, man. Person I want right now is right here. Are you sure? Very good. Come here. I've loved you from the best I saw you. You know, I've never been so scared in my life until tonight. I don't know what I'd have done if I'd lost you. I mean, when I heard him say he wanted to kill you, I... Hey, nothing happened. And it was all because of you. I think I'm in love with you. I don't think. I know I'm in love with you. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know I am. Good. Oh. What of the girl Anieti said you were crazy about? That was you. <laughs> he knows me so well. He knew there was somebody, but he didn't know who he was. So... So you're the only girl living right free on my mind, day and night. My heart can't I let go, though I touched you. Let your head down in my hands now. To roll my fingers to your words Feel your embrace in my heart now Let your guard down in my hands now I'll never let you down, no Feel your embrace in my heart now Hey beautiful Thank you Come on, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't beat yourself up, okay? Uh -uh. Really he lost his child and his wife is in the mountain institute. You know, I started this blog to help people. Most of the time, not to hurt them. I read the article. He saved the company. They could have been bankrupt by now. Do you know how many families that have been ruined? Lives involved? Still. Still, you are not a terrible person. Most times. <laughs> Actions have consequences. And then, Hadi is coming. You can save everybody. Okay? You did what you could. Oh, I love you too. Anyways, I have a bachelor's party to plan. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll be like tomorrow at my place. You good? Okay. You sure? I promise. I'll see you tomorrow. And a cookie for me. Oh. 
Speaking of wife, mm -hmm. my parents and siblings are coming in early for me to wedding this weekend. My daughter. And I would love for you to meet them as my girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> isn't that moving a bit too fast? Babe, I told you I love you. The only people I say that to mm -hmm. are characters from movies that I start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, but if you think that's moving so fast, maybe... No, 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 you're not doing that. You're not using reverse psychology on me. I will meet your parents before they leave, okay? Good. Good. <laughs> um, but then there's a meeting. Yeah. I need to tell him. That guy, he knows me too well. He's going to snoop it out of me. Right. Okay. Okay, well, just... Do you touch on the thing? I don't want to steal any more chemist thunder than I already have, okay? Plus, I know that my brother will give you a black eye, okay? And let's save this pretty face for the wedding, okay? Good idea. Yes. So you think I have a pretty face? <laughs> a very, very pretty face. <laughs> so you should say it to me more often. I tell you all the time, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wifey. <laughs> Have your parents arrived yet? No, they're having a delayed flight. That's actually why I'm calling you. Uh, they're gonna be late, you know, and I'm gonna need your help. Okay, I'm listening. He's so delicious. What are you guys talking about? Ebuka. Yes, no. So when are we meeting this beautiful girl that cooked that delicious meal? Mommy, what makes you feel that meal we just it was made by his girlfriend? That meal was made out of a lot of love. <laughs> so she's your girlfriend. Yes. Oh. And when are we meeting her? After the wedding. But that's too long now. The wedding is in two days. What are you talking about? You mean forty-eight hours until I meet my future daughter-in-law? Mommy. What? I haven't proposed to her. But you are going to. I mean, yeah, it's kind of complicated. We just started dating. This is not about how long you've known this girl. Mm -hmm. It's about how she makes you happy. Mm -hmm. And if you are already considering to propose to her, then you should. No wonder his cheeks are so fluffy. You have been eating well. <laughs> See your mouth. <laughs> that was what I was telling your sister at the airport. Hmm? Ebuka. Okay, mommy. I hear you guys. I've heard. <laughs> Think about it. Oh yeah, movie lover. What are we watching? <laughs> Thanks for saving me last night. Man. I don't know why I ever thought I'd be interested in a stripper. <laughs> I love it. I was looking out for himself, man. Mm -hmm. That guy wanted a stripper. The bachelor's party was just an excuse. <laughs> I agree with you. Oh. But when you see him, man, mm -hmm. tell me, cross me my phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's between both of you and your brother. Uh, let's get you married, Mr. Mm -hmm. Married Man. 
Thanks again for everything. I mean, today is definitely going to be the best day of my life. <laughs> you deserve it, man. And it's all because of you. Thanks, man. I owe you a bit time. This doesn't feel right. What? Getting married? No. Doing it without NK here. NK? Yes. Look, Anita, there's something I need to tell you. You see this? The designer, the venue, the cake, the caterer, all of it. It wasn't me. It was NK. I asked her to help and she came through big time. That's why she has to be at the wedding. It doesn't feel right if she's not here. Hey! Hey, Bukhari! Why aren't you dressed yet? Hey, baby! I've been trying to call you. What's the most thing you have to you, sweetie? Why do I keep picking your call? Where's your phone? I lost my phone last night. Really? Oh, why? How? So sorry about that. Why did you let NK put into my wedding? Because at the time, even I didn't think it was a good idea, but then she came through for all of us. Kenny, this girl has given you your dream wedding. Oh, please. The least we could do is let her attend this wedding. Never. That's my date. What? Um, okay, uh... Huh? You slept with her. You're dating my sister? What I just said she's my girlfriend. <gasps> what? Wow. You're sleeping with my sister. Hey, 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 baby. Huh. How long? Two weeks. Ever since you banished her from the wedding, I went to her place just to check on her, only to find a guy trying to kill her. What? Yes. Why didn't you call me? I did. Remember when I asked you for her extra keys? I had gotten there already. I couldn't have called you. And after? She didn't want to talk to you. Still, you should have told me. Yes, I know, and I'm sorry. Look, Anita, this is not a fling. Believe me, I am madly in love with your sister. This does not change a thing. I can't allow her to attend my wedding. Oh, baby. At least not without an apology, not after what she pulled off at dinner. Huh. Okay. If Enki is not gonna come, neither am I gonna come. You gotta go get yourself another person. Ibuka. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister is a piece of work. Gosh, even on my wedding day, she still manages to be the center of attention. Gosh, this was her big revenge. Mm -hmm. The wedding, then her being kicked off, and then now she's seduced Ebuka to ruin my wedding. Nobody seduces Ebuka. Ebuka does the seduction. No, not your sister. She's smart. Oh, she's really smart. Very smart. But she won't win. No. Ah! Enki. Baby, listen. I know what to do. Sweetie, we can have this wedding without Ebuka. Okay? Yes. Yes. We, we can get another best man. Yeah? 
He can't be replaced. But you're not seriously considering that inviting your sister to the wedding? At least not without an apology. NK has to come. She's my only sibling for crying out loud. I wouldn't get married without my best friend and my twin sister. What about what I want? Hi. You told it here. This is totally cool. Expecting someone? No, you? <laughs> no. I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay. Next time, call me, no matter what. I missed you. I missed you too. Thanks for helping with the wedding. You're welcome, but speaking of wedding... I know, the weddings were called off. What? Why? I'm, I'm sorry, Titi, are, are you okay? Yeah. But I didn't mean for you to call it off. No, no, you didn't. It's what it happens anyway. Oh, sorry about the eye. I will say I'm okay with you seeing my sister, but I'll try. You know, when you chose NK over my stupidity, I knew you were serious. I'm solidly behind the both of you. Even though <laughs> it would get, take some getting used to. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, thank you. Is you put aside your hatred for ten years, still try to give her the best day of her life. That means a lot. And I'm sorry for your That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, too bad. You guys had to go through another life and other things. There's going to be no wedding. Sorry, one second. Can I get your ring, please? Fine. Yes, it's perfect now. <laughs> Look, our family's already in church. I'm crazy about her, man. Yeah, I don't want to cool. spend another day without her. Let me just do it now. Go for it. What, what are you doing? Okay. Marry me today. <coughs> what? Look, I know this is crazy. But crazy is exactly the way I feel about you. <laughs> I'm crazy about how smart you are, the way you think. I'm crazy about how generous you are, how you genuinely care for people. And I'm crazy about how funny you are. Another type of crazy? I'm crazy about how annoying you are. <laughs> And call your Stephanie a sin. Please spend the rest of your life with me. <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> Putting Kemi's ring on my finger. 
I'll get you another one. Yes, I okay. will. Yes, I will. I love you. I love you. Now let's go get married. You may kiss the bride. I've loved you from the And a marriage to you in a normal way. <laughs> but I cannot have a better son in law than my second son. Thank you. <laughs> God, I'm so so relieved. I thank you, God. I never thought a day will come that the girl will be getting married. <laughs> Talk more of getting married before her twin brother said it. Oh, God, I give you all the glory. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, I know, I know this is very unorthodox, but mom, dad, I want to officially introduce you to my wife, Nkoyo. Oh. <laughs> when I said marry her, I didn't mean right away. <laughs> yes, Dad, but... Hello. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Congratulations, my dear. Oh, thank you. Mom? Thank you. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you. 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 <laughs> was, uh, I could have said to myself that I was going to give me a second black eye. Stop it. If my parents are happier that I am married, then they are angry that you didn't follow due protocol. Well, <laughs> married. Yes. I like the sound of that, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Unkoyo Kalu. Mm -hmm. Essien Kalu. Mrs. Unkoyo Essien Kalu. That works too. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh, I love you too, baby. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we are married. Like, this is real. Yes. Hmm. You know, we haven't discussed the important things, right? Like, how many kids we want. Because uh -huh. I want two. I'm only going twice. If I have twins, then maybe two more times. But triplets and this church is closed, okay? What happened to my dream of owning a football club? <laughs> In your next life, my darling. Your next life. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I want you out of this dress, you know. You can't see things like that. Prince are right there. Unfortunately, though, it's going to be a while because we still have to contend with the reception. We won't be missed. Yes, we would. No. Are you being serious? Yes. You know what? Let's I... go <laughs> to the hotel. Just look short time and we'll be back. <laughs> hmm? What's going on? They won't know. Let's go. Let's go.
Oh uh-huh. 